Hey guys, welcome back to Chicken Clash. I'm your host, The Chicken, and in today's video, we're going to be talking some more updates, some more news for Project Rise. So we have some new updates over here on the Discord server that we're going to get into. So I'm going to read some of this. I'm going to show you everything. And we're just going to... Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. We're going to get into all this right here. So if you guys want to stay up to date on everything Project Rise, and, you know, if you guys still didn't know, aka... Clash Heroes, um, yeah, then make sure, to make sure that you stay tuned to this channel, subscribe today, and we'll keep you up to date in the news on everything, sorry, I just lost my page here, where did I go, uh, announcements, okay, sweet, so, let's, um, this is kind of carrying off, I guess, from our last video, but, um, this is really cool. So they're giving us these little tidbits in the Discord server, these little kind of sneak peeks almost. Um, just about kind of the status of the game, where they're at with everything, and any kind of new changes they make. Now this is going to be nothing super game-breaking, and we'll talk about global release kind of towards the end of this video. Um, or right after this, but <clears throat> let's go over this first. So. Uh, Frame said, this week we'd like to share some menu and UX mockups we've been working on. UX just means like, um, I think it just means like user interface, so it's like this, the, to put it as dumbly as I can, the screen you look at when you uh, open the game kind of thing. Um, <clears throat> someone will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. Keep in mind these are functional UX screens that are meant to help us iterate on uh, usability and interaction while we develop the final style and polish the user interface itself. Many of the icons, assets, and elements our whip, I don't know what that means, and likely to change going forward. They are not final, but represent incremental improvements over earlier versions you might have seen in videos or played in pre-alpha. So they start off here with what is called the hero page. So <clears throat> heroes now have 18 levels and six tiers, brave, mighty, heroic, mythic, champion, and legendary. Leveling up requ requires gold and hero badges. When you level up, the hero gets a small stat boost and access to more upgrade traits. Um, upgrade to more upgrade? trait or ultimate slots and choices for those slots. Page style is fairly self-explanatory, but here's a brief overview. Um, so let's uh, click on this. And that's not gonna open up on the page. Or is it if I scroll? Does that? No, it doesn't wanna, that's a new window, okay. So anyways, we can see right here. So we got the Valkyrie, she's a smasher. This is who I played mostly in the, uh, the pre-alpha. She was really good, very fun to use. So you can see right here that everything looks so much better. Like, the, this screen looks amazing compared to what we were playing with. Um, it still looked good then, but it was, it's just such an improvement. So 266 health, we can see her health and her attack, and it looks like there's going to be room for more stats there. Uh, lots of ability slots, and then we have the chance to upgrade them as well. Um, so Whirl, critical hit generates a magic axe that orbs the player up 10 seconds, so that's like the special move, I guess. Um, but yeah, so hero tier is shown on the top left along with the hero name and class, so the hero tier, um, so Valkyrie, Smasher, um, <clears throat> the magnifying glass can be tapped to view a full breakdown of hero stats and skills, that's cool, magnifying glass is right under the health, okay, uh, the hero's primary ability is described on the top right with upgrade slots for that ability, skills, traits, and ultimate, uh, and the ultimate accessible below it. So everything that we just looked at on the right. Perk selection. We've changed perk sele selection to asynch asynchronous. Yep, players don't have to wait for their teammates to choose perks anymore. Hey, that's huge. That was the biggest change that everyone, you know, I think it was obvious they were gonna change that, but uh, that was the biggest feedback I saw collectively from everybody. Each player now has their own pool of perks to choose from with the available pool growing larger as the player's account progression increases. More on that in the future. But now, some important things to note. So let's keep looking. Um, team still levels up together. When the team levels up, every team member gets a single perk point to spend. So you're still, you know, there, there's still the uh, the whole team aspect. I mean, that's not really going anywhere. It's just they've kind of cleaned it up a bit so you're not waiting on your teammates to pick perks. Uh, tapping the gear icon in the top left opens the perk selection screen. Uh, gameplay is no longer paused while choosing. Oh, so you still do pick it. Like, time to gear icon on top of that. Oh, it's a perk selection. Uh, gameplay is no longer paused while choosing a perk, so heroes can be attacked while the menu is up. Uh, if you do take damage, though, the menu will auto shut. 
That's interesting. Okay. Okay, I thought you were picking the perks before the match based on what the other note said, but... Um, okay, so they still pop up, um, but it doesn't pause the game. Okay, that's a step in the right direction, at least. Um, perks now have an elixir cost. Most perks start at 1 and increase with each level of the perk, example 1, 2, 3, but some rare, more powerful perks will cost more. Perk points persist between floors, so you can save up for more expensive perks if you don't feel the need to spend right away. Okay, so it's not all about, it's all about um, strategy, right? Like planning for what you want your build to be within your team, that kind of thing, what's going to work well. Um, before it was just like, okay, perk screen, you're up, get something, keep going. Um, so that's nice. Every player gets two free rerolls per floor, allowing you to refresh a perk if you don't like the choice it presented. All three cards are refreshed when you choose a perk, okay? So lots of different perks to choose from. Uh, tapping the info button on each card will show the level 1, 2, 3 effects of each perk. Okay, interesting. So we can see it right here. So you can still be attacking, still be fighting, while you're choosing a perk at the same time. And you can close the screen and then open it up. Okay. that The fact that you can um, <clears throat> spend more elixir to upgrade them, I feel like changes that whole dynamic. Because before the way it worked, it was like, you know, pick the perk and then you have the perk. Um, so every, you know, second that you spent in the menu, even though the game was paused, it wouldn't work. So I'm glad that they changed that. That's two changes, and they really work better. Prep screen. The prep screen was very bare bones in pre so we're currently fleshing it out, adding more features to it. Some of the more notable ones. We've added a backpack for consumables you can accumulate during your run. Phoenix feathers are now per player, persistent, and consumable. Phoenix feathers. I missed that. What were Phoenix feathers? Okay, anyways. Um, feathers no longer refresh automatically every floor, but every floor has two Phoenix feathers that can be found and collected. These are not shared. It's first come, first serve. You can't find any feathers. You can spend gold to top up on the feathers between floors, but the higher up you go in the tower, the more expensive the feathers become. We've also introduced floor skips to soften the blow of restarting the climb when you fall back down. As you level up your hero, you will gain access to floor skips at every hero tier. Every new tier you achieve will allow you to skip 10 floors. Some caveats. You can only skip at floor 1. You can only skip to a floor you've already passed with that hero. All members of the team must meet... Okay, that makes sense. So then it's like, you still have to earn it, right? Like, you can't skip way ahead and be like, I have all the feathers, I can just skip this whole level. Um, it's just to make it less kind of grindy, which is nice. Uh, that's right, we've added the first version of teams. You can create a team before entering a new floor. Currently, this is limited to sharing a team code. More ways team would be added going forward. Note, however, that if you team up higher in the tower, all team members must be on the same floor. Interesting. There it is right there. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. <clears throat> I never got the feathers when I played the game, so I don't know. Maybe I missed that. But, um, but yeah. So that's it. That's the update. That's, it's, that's pretty cool, man. A lot of big changes, and I like all of them. So um, I want to hear from you guys. What do you think about this kind of... I don't want to call it an update because like, we don't really have the game yet, but it's kind of an update. It's kind of a sneak peek of an update. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think of these changes? Let me know down below in the comments. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more Project Rise, and um, yeah, we're going to come back when we got some more news, and oh yeah, I was going to talk about Global. So I think, you know, especially based on the speed that they're coming out, like every week they've got these new changes, I think they're working towards the six month release something you know late winter early spring is kind of my guess for a global release so um do you guys have a different idea of the game's kind of trajectory or path or whatever you're thinking let me know down below in the comments and we'll check in the next one guys chicken out back there